want to start this off by saying this is not one for the PvP purist. If you have some kind of code of honor or unaccepting of anything not hand cannon plus shotgun, you probably want to stay away. But if you want to be an absolute menace, get some of the cheesiest kills known to man and get the hate message farm up and running, keep watching. To make it all work together, you need to commit the three deadly sins of PvP. Number one, spamming abilities in the general direction of all enemies. Number two, using a bow, even worse than that, using the wish ender. And even worse than that, having a backup bow swap option. And number three, crushing an exotic to give us another layer of wall hacks and extra information. These all work together in harmony for some quick and cheesy kills. Starting with the wish ender. Why this weapon? It deals heavy damage, allowing for a quick cleanup with abilities or another weapon. But all bows do that. What makes this one special is the exotic trait of highlighting enemies through walls or objects, meaning you can always get the jump on the opposition as you know their exact location just before the peak. With a crit, the wish ender will hit for a total of 159 damage over two hits. Now here's where the abilities on Strand Hunter, our choice of class, come into play. Naturally, an opponent hit by an arrow will jump straight back into cover. Here's where you can throw a Fredling grenade for an easy tracking cleanup. There's a way to use these grenades. If you throw them in direct line of sight of an opponent, it's easy enough for them to clear them out. But these Fredlings can track around corners and seek out enemies where this will be the most effective. And if an engagement is out in the open, the charged melee threaded spike is also a great cleanup tool. It has a deceptively long range and very generous tracking. It deals 80 damage to the first enemy impacted and will also jump to other nearby opponents. And finally, you can just use another weapon as cleanup. Now, if you happen to have the old perk pull roll of Igneous Hammer with quick draw and snapshot, then hey, fantastic, use that. But I know the majority of people won't have it. Thankfully, I found something of the same role which is more accessible and honestly might even be better the Stars and Shadow. Kind of a weird choice of this being a high impact version of Pulse Rifle, but it has the role of quick draw and snapshot with a max handling and ADS multiplier. With these combined, this sluggish by design weapon is in fact incredibly snappy. You can also get rolls of this very easy by just focusing crucible engrams at shacks. And these high impact frames are also some of the best for dueling, with a default 0.67 time to kill. But here, we'll be using this mainly for cleanups. With its damage profile of 22 per body and 35 per crit, you can even get a full body shot burst cleanup, and it's incredibly easy to use. And now that crutch exotic, knucklehead radar. It will mark enemies you damage, allowing you to track their movement even without ADSing Wish Ender. And it will keep your radar active while you are ADSing. The tracking's helpful as it gives information on where you want to aim your Fredling grenades and will allow you to get the first shot should they re peak. The always active radar is probably even more important. Scouting out enemies with a Wish Ender is great and everything, but it tunnel visions you in, losing information about your surroundings and your flanks. Having the radar active will stop you getting caught off guard. This helps to rectify the obvious issue. If you're running a bow and hand cannon, or even a bow and pulse, what happens if enemies get in a close engagement? Ideally, you'd want to limit these by utilising the radar, but if it does happen, there's a pretty good response, and it's just this image. Use your class ability with Threaded Spectre to create a clone which will mess with the opponent's radar. Throw Threadling grenades for an additional distraction and chip damage, and since you will have all the information you need with Wish Ender and Knucklehead combined, you can still go for that bow swap combination. And it's just as simple as this. Get Wish Ender hits, which is honestly the easiest thing to do. It's cheating without cheating with the wall hacks. And then use one of any ability or secondary weapons to clean up. Finally, a few tips. A combination of High Discipline, Widow's Silk and Thread of Generation will give you maximum Threadling grenade uptime. These Threadlings are improved more with Thread of Evolution giving extra damage and faster travel speed. If anyone's going to give you trouble with this, it will actually be a good sniper. You will have war hacks on them easily enough with Wish Ender, but if you do peek them while ADSing with a bow, it's slow and predictable and you will just get domed. What you can do is watch their character model while in cover and wait them out. Don't peek while they're scoped in, or alternatively, just take another angle. Team shotting with this build is also absolutely disgusting. Stay near teammates and scope out enemies as they're about to peek, but hit them as soon as your team does. You can actually fire too quickly in some scenarios and miss out on a team shot opportunity. So you have to time it right. And that's the lot. Be the most annoying bow user ever with ease. And that is some achievement with how enraging bows can be. But at least it's not a void titan build, I guess. Thank you for watching.